The purpose of this video is to demonstrate what you need to do if you receive your clutch and the friction discs or the tangs of the friction discs don't line up to the slots in the basket. So when we assemble the clutches in the factory, we assemble them so that they line up and they're perfectly concentric to the rest of the clutch. And you'll notice that when done properly, the clutch slides freely into the slots of the basket. Sometimes uh, during shipping, the, uh, the clutch discs can actually shift within the clutch, like if the box is dropped or something like that. And you'll notice that now the clutch discs are no longer uh, concentric to the rest of the clutch and that prevents the uh, the tangs of the discs from dropping into the slots of the basket so the purpose of this video is to show you how to get those realigned and uh, luckily it's it's a very simple and uh, quick thing to do so I'm going to show you how to do it right here first thing I want to do is take the clutch basket and uh, sprocket assembly set it face down set the clutch on the clutch basket and then take your anti-rotation bracket they came with the kit and, and use the screws to just uh, and hand snug these screws to uh, temporarily install uh, the anti-rotation bracket. You're going to use this as a means to hold the uh, fixed actuator stationary so that you can engage and disengage the clutch. Take a uh, small screwdriver or an Allen wrench uh, that is able to fit into the cable securing screw hole. And we'll first take out the cable securing screw. And you'll notice this is small enough that it can fit inside that hole. Now I can use this as a means to engage and disengage the clutch. And you'll notice that when I engage it, or disengage it, I'm going to shift the friction discs that are going to now be free and so that they'll be able to drop into the slots. So I'll do that now. Simple as that. So this is only the first step. You also have to make sure that this assembly slides onto the shaft and that so that everything is perfectly aligned. So what you'll do is you'll take the assembly, pick it up, put it on the shaft, and then disengage the clutch. So that it slides on. Then you can take it off and uh, follow the instructional videos to finish the remainder of the installation. Thanks for watching.